going to review a deep conditioner that I have never seen before. So y'all got to tell me if this is like a seasonal thing or is it new or what. And that is the Camille Rose Baby Powder Deep Conditioner. So she had a creme brulee deep conditioner and she also had like a baby powder and creme brulee scent mixed together which i was like mm, baby powder and vanilla but the creme brulee one was sold out um so i got the baby powder one i would have gotten one of each but that one was sold out so we all know and love camille rose as a brand i personally don't laugh have not used the fan favorite the algae renew deep conditioner but it's definitely back there on my shelf and will be used in an upcoming video but i use the around the world deep conditioners and we kind of know how um camille rose's deep conditioners are and most of us love them let's get into this deep conditioner and first we're going to get into this packaging or lack thereof what okay so this looked like her first deep conditioner that she made out the kitchen with this packaging i was like okay girl it's just a sticker on it and it has the scent baby powder and it has the ingredients which is water shea butter uh jojoba seed oil honey cocoa butter panthenol amla oil slippery elm aloe vera coconut oil optifin scent and love so as normal there are good ingredients camille rose always does the ingredients well so that's why we love that brand she definitely smells like baby powder and i personally love the scent of baby powder it just makes you think of a cute little baby when you like sniff up under their neck and they smell all good and clean and it ain't giving me baby fever though i've been seeing beautiful babies but i ain't seen one to give me no baby fever honey mm -mm. my hair is freshly shampooed and i did have to clarify my hair after that last greasy mess i went through if it looks a little potched that may be why but it feels good it feels clean and i needed it so i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in four sections and we'll get started so like i said the packaging is super simple there's no instructions on here for you to use it any kind of special type of way so we're just going to use our common sense and use it like we normally would a deep conditioner put it on slather it on like i normally do and apply heat i love it it's super strong i don't know if it's gonna linger but this is what it looks like it's super smooth and creamy nice and thick just like y'all like let's see how it applies to the hair okay so so far it feels nice and creamy on the hair it doesn't really have slip so this is not one that i would prefer to detangle with it feels like it's soaking into the hair pretty decently my hair is like i said pretty parched from the clarifying shampoo so i'm gonna make sure i get it all all up in there which i would normally do anyway but it's gliding on really good now the baby powder scent is pretty strong so if you are sensitive to scents which I don't think many people would be sens too sensitive to a baby powder smell. And I also was like interested because it is a different type of smell. Like we don't really get baby powder scents. We get fruits and food and flowers or even just clean scents. But this one I thought would be pretty interesting. Definitely need to get my roots. I don't know about y'all, but my hair tangles a lot at the roots. Like it tangles at the roots it seems like more than it does on the ends which is crazy does anybody else's hair do that so this is what it looks like on my hair this feels like a nice typical deep conditioner it feels like when i kind of warm it up it gets a little better with the slip it's not super stiff or anything like that but it does seem like it's getting better with the slip I'm gonna apply a little water to it and see if that like kind of helps the slip out okay so it didn't really help with the slip it seems like that the water is making the product just thinner and kind of making it run off so I'm just gonna not apply any more water and just put it on so I'm gonna go ahead and put this all through my hair and be right back So the 
deep conditioner is all applied to my hair and this is what it's looking like it's not soaking in too much just yet but i'm sure some heat will definitely help that out but it did feel nice and creamy putting it on so we'll have to see how it penetrates and how it feels afterwards um like i said this doesn't have like any ounces on it but for my calculations this is like an eight ounce jar and of course i went through it pretty good it's literally just a corner in there so i am going to go ahead and put my heated cap on like i said my hair was pretty parched so normally i would leave it on for 30 minutes an hour or just whenever i feel like washing it out but i might do it overnight now i don't want to tell anybody that i recommend them to do that you just have to know your hair if your hair can handle it how much moisture your hair needs because sometimes that can cause moisture overload for some people but i'm going to go ahead and do that because my hair needs it because i definitely stripped it okay so i will see you guys when i rinse this out and let you know my final thoughts okay you guys so it is the next day i did just rinse out the deep conditioner and since the deep conditioner didn't have any instructions on there i did go on the website to let you guys know what the instructions are of course it's pretty much the same as any other deep conditioner it says apply ample amount to wet or dry hair leave on for 10 minutes then rinse cool while detangling use a wide tooth comb for extra conditioning use a plastic cap and apply heat for a minimum of 20 minutes allow conditioner to melt away under a cool water rinse so i did rinse with cool water and this also cost 16 dollars. so let's see how my hair is looking y'all the baby powder smell is definitely still in there and my hair feels and looks good it's pillow soft it smells amazing it's moisturized you can tell because i have definition in there after rinsing that out so for me i really like this deep conditioner um like i said it didn't have much slip um, so I personally wouldn't detangle with it, but it is possible when I tried to add the water It started to rinse the product away and it didn't create more slip So I would say apply it in the shower. So your hair is already kind of soaking wet But you know that will cause it to be a lot thinner. I liked it thicker I liked using it outside of the shower and I liked using a lot of it. So um, I liked it. I would recommend this deep conditioner. My hair does feel really good. It feels moisturized and it smells great. So you guys let me know if you've tried this. Is this a new thing? Is it just seasonal? It's called the custom deep blends. This one in the creme brulee and the mix of the two scents. So let me know if you guys have heard of this, use this and make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.